idea what to say to those people. I can't stand. I despise. I abhor those two. Him and his squash. That's all it is with him, is squash. Why, he's nothing compared to her. He doesn't even exist compared to her. Squash, squash, squash. All day and a all bird. night. A bird. She's a buttonhead. Why, she's, she's a complete confound. Squash, squash. <laughs> Boring, asinine, pathetic grandchildren. Want a little feisty bird? Yes, dear, yes. Careful with that pretty toad. Morbid little blurry photos. I'd like to squash those toadstool grandchildren is what I'd like to do. Some sort of pre-programmed robot electronics. And yes, dear, is the only thing that beanpole can say. Oh, fudge. Milton. Milton, are you hearing a single word that is coming out of my mouth? Yes, dear. You are not. You are not listening to me. You are not listening to a single solitary word that is coming out of my mouth. Every word, every single word. You hate her, she's a bean salad. Those quivering grandchildren. I'd like to mash their puny faces and slice their little ears off. Honey, you... I... Oh, I sure wish you wouldn't drink so much. Me? What about you? You were swucking it down like... I happen to enjoy the presence of a fine beverage to compliment enjoy. my... Enjoy? Uh -uh, no. The word would be... It would be, I don't know... Irrigate, something like that. Who was dead set on that fancy new place, huh? If the food had even been palatable, if it was even so downable. Swarking, what kind of word is that? I happen to enjoy new places. I enjoy newness, new experiences, new tastes, novelty. That's what I like, novelty. I see not one thing wrong with a little novelty. Oh, forgive me, Mr. Spur of the Moment. Reservations two weeks in advance? We were the only people in that entire barn. The way you paraded your thing around. What? I'm sure you called ahead just what? enough to be accepted. I paraded something around? That all glorious credit card of yours. It paid the grease-infested damages, didn't it? That's one thing it did happen to do. This compulsion to be St. Milton of the check all the time. You know we can afford it. So pricey that place was. Those little things with the melon. You sure as Henry made no attempt to control yourself. The way you foraged around on the relish plate, searching for one last morsel that you might root out. Root? Root? I never root. You root all the live long day. It was just sad, demeaning for you to volunteer like that. The dirty pigskin wasn't going to make a move for his wallet in a million years. I thought he was your little pal. Not my pal. No, sir. She was your broken buddy from that bridge thing. I can't stand the sight of her. Then why did we bother to spend the evening with those two? If you think I know that one, you are definitely barking up the wrong tree. Sometimes I just don't get you. Me? Get me? Well, there's nothing to get but that woman. I hate those sounds she makes most of all. Like a great ape, a baboon, like a... I don't know what! <laughs> Milton? Milton, are you reading me? Of course, dear. Every word. That sound. That laugh of hers. <laughs> always happy, those two. Always so gosh darn happy. Like a couple of old friends. Old... Old friends. We don't laugh out loud, do we, Milton? You don't know how to laugh, Norma. That's why I married you. Could you give me a hand with this, dear? Of course, dear. And the other thing? Of course. Oh, there now. Norma feels much better. Yes, dear, I'm sure she does. You hop into Betty by now. Thank you. Honey. Of course, love. Let me just get rid of this. So, uh, what were we talking about? I don't know. 
Those people. Those silly people. I don't like them. They're getting old. I don't like them either. I like you. I like you too. Forever. Yes, dearest, forever. Thank <laughs> you.